Hey guys, Red5 back again. See, I told you I would upload on Wednesdays. I held true to my word. And to get... Today... <laughs> to gay. <laughs> to gay. Today we're playing the Payne's Creek Killings. This is a game that I saw today, well, the day of recording, that is. I was just browsing through Steam and saw this pop up. I was like, ah, that looks really interesting. So apparently there was, well, there was killings. Uh, no, there, there were some murders of some, you know, hoity-toity rich white people. White people, am I right? Uh... And we have to find out, you know, who killed him. Apparently it's like an old cold case or something like that. That was a deep rumble. Hey, uh, Janet. So the chief has entrusted you with my assignment, hey? I hope it didn't interfere with your weekend plans. Anyway, he uh, told me to call you and fill you in on it. You remember the murder that happened a few years back that was never solved? The one at Payne's Creek where the ex mayors wife was killed? Well, the property's being auctioned off soon, so we don't have much time to dig up anything that's relevant to the case. So, see what you can find. Hopefully it'll be something worth publishing. Anyway, take care. I'll see you on Monday. Bye. You would think they would have subtitles on there, like, by default. Just so there's something on screen instead of just black. Uh, August 3rd, 1999. In 1995, Vivian Roberts, a successful businesswoman and wife of a former mayor, was murdered and dragged to the front of her home, of her own home. The case was never solved and the killer never found. It was rumored that a private investigator was in Payne's Creek sometime later, but there's nothing more on that. Last week, we received news that large swaths of Payne Creek County will be auctioned off soon. Why can't I read? We would like to revisit the story and attempt to find out the following. Who killed Vivian Roberts? Okay. What was the motive? And what was the murder weapon? So, like, clue... Except we have to find motive. Please submit your findings and a front page photograph for your story to be published. Oh, okay. Don't forget to bring the camera. Don't forget it. What kind of a what kind of a reporter would I be without my camera? I have to look around. Pretty straightforward stuff. Population, zero. You guys are dead? Well, clearly not. Cemetery, gate, padlock, 113. It's a good sound. One, one, three. Okay. Can I only hold, can I hold like an infinite amount of photos? God, I hope so. Is there a flashlight? Okay, we go in here. Gonna see the sheriff. Is it Andy? I don't know why, that always, I always enjoy that, just playing a game, you know, whenever I have headphones on, just hearing some noise in the ground, in the background, and just spinning around and hearing it go around my head. It's always just amazing. Cool. Can I open that? Nope. God, this is dark. Oh, oh. Oh, you say some light switches don't work. Do any of them work? 
Flashlight. Okay, there we go. Uh... Oh, store it. L all the way over there. Some bleach. Can I pick that up? No. Oh, anything else? Nothing. Nice clean toilet. Good. Sign of a healthy home. Of a happy home. I don't know what I'm saying. Hi, this is Steven. I just wanted to make sure the package was sent. Again, I'm currently at Ann's Courtyard. Any extra info you have would be much appreciated. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Can I record that? Do I have, like... Scott Brooks, Payne's Creek, Trinity Church pastor's son, suspected for killing Vivian Roberts. Witness reported seeing suspect fleeing from murder scene late night. Late, late last night? Late at night? Oh. The police apprehended Scott Brooks yesterday afternoon. He was re residing at the Roberts hunting cabin by the trailhead. According to a witness who at the time was has wished to remain an anonymous. Uh, I still can't read. He was coming home late on July 19th at around 11.50 p.m. when he saw when he saw Scott walking very quickly away from the Roberts Mansion heading down Silver Lake. Although Scott looked upset, the witness did not think anything unusual until a few days later when he came across the newspaper article on Vivian Roberts' murder. Feeling uneasy about the whole situation, he called the police shortly after the call was made. The police arrived at Scott's cabin and questioned and question about his whereabouts the night Vivian died. Scott said he did meet her that night, but said nothing. He had nothing to do with her death. Scott was later brought down to the station for further questions. Continue on page four. Do I have page four? Can I stow this? Oh. Okay. Vivian Roberts, successful businesswoman and wife of ex-mayor, found dead in front of her home. Third death to strike Payne's Creek in less than a year. Vivian, Vivian, ah, Vivian Roberts, the wife of ex-mayor Charles Roberts, was found dead in front of her home at One Maple Drive, Payne's Creek. At 7.15 a.m., Mary Martinez, a maid currently working at the mansion, was retrieving the morning paper when she saw Vivian's body. She immediately called 911. Pants Creek Sheriff James Howard <coughs> arrived shortly and the victim was pronounced dead. The time of death was estimated to be between 11 p.m. last night and 1 a.m. this morning. The body is currently at the coroner's office waiting for an autopsy. The people of Pants Creek have started grieving for her. Candles and flowers were being placed at the gates in front of her home where she was found. Vivian was indeed a person whom many respected and adored she her success in business her loyalty to her family and her love for the people of Payne's Creek was unsurpassed she will be missed okay I'm gonna go now I don't know if there's anything else oh so this is just a game just full of just just looking around everywhere I wonder if it's going to be one of those games where where you literally where you have to look in literally every single nook and cranny to find like the one thing you need to to solve the case or to get through the door, open the gate, what have you. I hope not. I really hope it's not like that. Uh but at the very least we're going to have to look at a lot of things. Closed for good. That's that seems like a very unofficial notice. Open. What? 
Are you serious? This is what this is what breaks the game? Just trying to open a key? Well, not open a key, use a key to open a door. I'll be back. It's right there. Just do it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, let's go back outside. <sighs> Thank you. Ah, oh, that was Oh. That was just really annoying. Okay. Yes, I know that. Thank you. Tutorial completed. Thanks for letting me know. I got an achievement for that. Not even a clever name, just tutorial completed. I can't check their mail. Well, at least it's accurate. What about this one? Why are they all boarded up? I mean, yeah, people left, but... I, I, I don't know. Can I get on the seesaw? I hate this game. <laughs> uh... Okay, I'm really just... Ah, it's a really weird sound. I don't like it. It just sounds metallic. But it doesn't sound natural at all. Anything hiding back here? Is, is that is that the murderer? No. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. There any birds? No birds? No birds? Tree stump? Oh wait, what? What? I never would have thought to open that. That's cool. Okay. Can I mark my map? Let's see if I can just... No, uh... Let's take a photo of that so I remember, remember where it is. Can't run through there. Okay. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, golly. I shouldn't go into the water. My equipment will get wet. Oh, so what you're saying is you didn't feel like programming that. Although, I will say, as far as, like, invisible barriers go, this one I'm okay with. It's not... There's at least some, like, in-game reason for you to not go that way. It makes sense. Oh, that's a cozy little cabin. There's a well. Oh. Is is the chick from... Is Samara... Is that her name? From the ring? Is, is she the... Is she the murderer? Did she do it? Oh, what's this? Get firewood. Get... Give a trick shot. I just, I just saw just... It looked like my camera did something weird for a second. Weird. Get more firewood. Give Trisha my spare cabin key. Find Mrs. Patterson's sink. Oh, fix. Don't. Oh. No, not find her sink. How do you lose a sink? No, 
fix Mrs. Patterson's sink. Visit Andrew at the hospital. Check hospital for missing tools. So Mrs. Patterson, not Miss Patricia, would have his spare cabin key. Okay. Where's Trisha live? Say that. Trisha, Trisha, Trisha. Like Trisha Takanawa from Family Guy. I keep hitting my mic and I should stop it. Uh, journal. Does this mention a Trisha anywhere? No. Oh, wait. No. No. Okay. Diary? Vivian Rubbish Funerals. I'm just scanning it to see if there's any mention of Trisha. Oh, Trisha. Vivian's husband, Charles, came with their daughter, Trisha. Okay, so... So... So is that Scott... Is, was that the dude's name? The Scott Brooks? Is that, is that his place? Does it say anything on here? No. Okay, so Trisha was Vivian's daughter. Hey. Why was she killed? What was the killer's motives? That's why I'm here, sir. Then count on me, good old uh, Janet Kelly. That's my name. Don't forget it. Because God knows I will. That's one thing that always annoys me. Oh, turn the power on. Do it. It's right there. Do it. <laughs> Come on. Just make this whole thing so much easier. Come on. Dick. Can I pick this up? It doesn't even move. Oh, come on. Why can't... Why can't I pick up every single object in every game ever? Half-Life... Half-Life had objects you could pick up, and they had... And, and like, you know, in-game physics. That game came out, like... 20, 20 years ago? Yeah, that game came out that game came out twenty years ago. At least. Maybe twenty one. That game's old enough to drink. And this game won't let me pick things up. Or turn on the gush darn power. This one either? Wait, why are there so many Well I mean I guess it makes sense, but I don't know. That's why they have so many back to back so close to each other. And why would they be on the outside like this? Why? I feel like everyone could just be an asshole and just, you know, flip and just turn it all off. Just to mess with somebody. Yeah, it says Postal Service. Does that? That's not. I mean, that's a government agency, so I guess they don't really have to. Do they have to get, like, government approval? For that, because that's the actual, you know, logo. So, I mean, at the very least, I mean, I'll give them props for, for accuracy as far as the post office is concerned. But that, big books, little. That don't even make no damn sense. Big books, little. You go to hell. Although I am interested. How do I get inside? I would like some books, sir. That's a loud, that's a loud gate. I hurt. Oh, come on. Oh, it doesn't even, oh, so I'm never going to be able to open this because it doesn't even give me the prompt. But I want to see the big books little. The books, what are both big and small? What's this? Moon Cafe. Okay, that's unimaginative, but cool. My Nana. 
like my grandma has I mean I call her Nana so yeah my Nana has like these exact almost to a T she has these tables and uh, and the chairs as well so hers have like cushions on them and she even has one with an umbrella. She doesn't, she doesn't use the umbrella because she keeps it inside under her patio. But, uh... That's cool. A little bit about me. Since this game involves so much wandering around, I'm just... Oh! Number one. Gotta start with number one. I keep looking at the screen where I can see the actual recording. I gotta stop that. Looking right at you, looking right between the eyes. Right, right in the eyes. Oh, why is the music all sinister now? I'll give him props for the fucking music though. Oh, we got a wino in here. Gonna Brom like Stoker Ellington Crown or Wellington. Yay! Ten out of ten. Best game. Uh, that makes me hip. Wait, let me check my just my batteries seem. Batteries seems new. These seems like goods batteries. Okay, so that's interesting. So you just they just tell you vaguely what well, I guess as far as realism is concerned, that makes it. They did say right at the beginning they wanted to wanted to make it feel like a true like, you know, investigation. Like you're not going to your hands not going to be held. You had to find all the clues. You had to find the map, had to find a flashlight. Uh and thus far, they've all been in places that made sense. Well, in the sheriff's office. That's where both of those things were. Although there was another flashlight just hanging out right here. Right there. Right there. So that's a little convenient, but still. So, oh. Sweet. Yeah, well, uh, what I was saying was, so because they're going for this whole realism thing, it makes sense that they would, that they wouldn't tell you exactly what the the charge was on the batteries. What's under here? Uh, you know, they, they'll just, you know, it'll just be like, oh, it seems like new. Which, you, which I guess you can kind of tell depending on how long they've been sitting there. I mean, because if batteries sit there for too long. They just old fashioned way to listen to music. Well, can I listen to it? Can I turn the is there oh there's not a record on it. Never mind. Uh oh god oh my my, my knee it just oh Jesus. Uh, I just realized right at the edge of the screen. Well you can't see it now, but if you look in the top left corner at the uh oh sorry. The top left corner at the chandelier up there. It has that, uh... Oh, what's it called? There's a word for when... When white light comes through at, like, a certain angle, it splits into red and blue. Ocular occlusion. That's what it is. I don't know if that's... I don't know if they were going for that effect, but there you know you know a new word now you can go look it up what ocular occlusion is because god knows i cannot i cannot accurately describe it uh well i can describe how it looks <laughs> uh but not that's oh, the same kid from earlier let's actually read this now uh male biracial really okay red hair brown eyes five foot nothing 80 pounds Last seen on the playground. Last seen poor people in across. There's, he was wearing. He oh he, I don't know why my brain put blue and jacket together in red bucket. Like he was wearing his favorite bucket. Oh, good old bucket head. We used to call him. Uh, he was wearing his favorite blue jacket. 
Uh, and he has a scar below his left eye. Does he? Does he, though? Does he have one? Is that is that a scar? I guess you can count that as a that, That's on the cheek, though. Not close enough. Okay, so that kid, you know, was, went missing. The hooked end of the tool is thin enough to be slipped through the car door's window and the rubber seal. Okay. Use a Slim Jim. So snap it with the Slim Jim. So I guess that's good info. Pan Creek, an Pan Creek's annual fall festival. Oh, look at the little pumpkin. It just looks like someone drew it by hand and it's really adorable. Uh, they got Comic Sans going on up top. Oh, this, I'm sure this was a lovely little town. Hmm. Robert's Relief Foundation? Gotta relieve Robert? Been constipated all this time? Gone but not forgotten. Ah. Oh. Right after I make a poop joke. Lovely. To commemorate all the lives that were lost 20 years ago. Fa trims and fades. Regular cut, $9. That's a deal right there. Beard trims for seven? Oh, buddy. I'd like to check that out. I want to see Stevie's Barbershop. I wonder if I could actually go in there. Sunday worship, da da da. Okay, fine. Need a little dove there. Bravo. Can I pick up the wine bottle and get drunk while I'm walking around? Because God knows I am bored. <laughs> I need something to keep. I'm not actually bored. I would just. My character, I feel like, is just bored out of her mind. Pains Creek Village. Welcome. Enjoy your stay at Pains Creek. Take a chance to explore the surroundings. Sure, sure, Enjoy the five-star room service it provides. Like actual five stars, like like rated, or just five stars, just a general adjective also the five and star should be hyphenated there's a compound modifier right there a little grammar lesson for you okay i'm done looking at the wait what you know personal tour guide rent a boat can I actually get a boat hunting licenses can i, can I go hunting I wonder if there's actually going to be a single NPC in here, or if, it, or if it's literally just trying to find, um, just, just, you know, finding out what happened. But it does seem to be the way, that's a nice painting. I like that a lot, actually. That one's okay. I mean, it is very, I mean, it took talent, but I just don't think, I just don't, I just don't necessarily like the way it looks. Although that's the way that I feel about most paintings. I mean, I'm, I respect, I respect the craft. I respect, you know, all the effort that must have gone into it. Okay, but can I get, can I take the batteries out of it or something in case these die? Hi, uh, this is Oliver Gibson. I just wanted to thank you for letting me borrow your toolbox and shovel. Uh, I'm currently out of town for a few days and I didn't get the chance to return it yet. <clears throat> In the case you need them, it's currently sitting in my photo lab. Uh, ask Mrs. Patterson for my spare key. Oh, so that was that? No, 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 no. That no, he didn't give a spare key to Mrs. Patterson. He gave a spare key to Trisha. Huh? Okay. Is there a key around here somewhere. Okay, let's see. We got Neil Merle. I, I don't know why my brain keeps yeah my brain keeps playing so many tricks on me, and I saw Neil and my brain immediately was like Pert, Neil Pert. There's no way he came here. Oh well, maybe I don't know. Baldry Normand, Fran R Reynolds, Howie Howie Timothy. Your last name is a first name. Norm Aiden Stephen Moss. Clancy Huey. These are weird names. 
Okay. Oh, wait, Stephen Moss. Date out. Question mark. Yeah. Think about that. So he arrived on March 21st at 4. Is that a.m. or p.m.? Probably a.m. I would imagine. I know, I know p.m. would make more sense. I don't know why. I mean, I've showed up, shown up at a hotel at 4 in the morning before. Well, at least it felt like 4. I don't know. I was little. I don't. All I know is it was very late, and I didn't remember most of the trip. My dad and I went down to Tampa one time. I don't even remember it being like a planned thing. I just like had some days off at school and there are darts here. I thought these were keys, you fucking tease. Key yeah 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 key tea yeah keys tease. You teasing the, the keys and stuff. That works. Kinda. Not really. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Okay. But yeah, yeah, my dad and I went to... Uh, let me read this first. Here's the key that you requested. 7 Black Pine Road, Paines Creek. Uh, 7? Okay. So this is the key to number 7. Although, can this... I'm not... After the last key fiasco, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, after that last bit going on, no, there's no way I'm gonna... No, I know I'm gonna waste waste a key on one of these assholes here. But yeah, why? What is with you, piano? Do Do you need something? Got something to say? Okay, now now you get quiet. Uh huh. Nothing. What's in here? Nothing. Nothing except a low resolution, uh, like lower panel. You locked up the wine and the in the fine china. China. Oh, 204. No. F uh 202. Thank you. God, that's an annoying sound. They I think for like I would say pretty much any game. I'm not gonna say all games because I don't wanna like pigeonhole anything like like I have any kind of clout. No, I just I feel like when it comes to like just picking up items, you should just have a single, t well, at, at least with adventure games, you should have just like one single sound to signify the act of having picked it up. Like, you know, in, you know, in, your Legend, in Legend of Zelda, that's a good example. Name any Legend of Zelda game. They have a single sound or an entire damn song depending on which one you play uh but there's a, there's there's consistency one sound that denotes picking it up this is 202 and it just what why can't but let me try that again 202 use oh I get. Didn't mean to do that. Letters or documents for in guests goes. Letters or documents for in guests goes in its respective slots. That's a lot of S's right there. Letters or documents for in guests go in their respective slots. That's. Oh, that's a confusing statement. Just, I feel like you just have like a sorting system, or just numbers. I don't, I don't fucking know. But uh, interesting books, very colorful. Nothing under there. Actually, I should go back and just kneel down, look around. I already did, didn't I? Yeah. God, I got some heavy ass clod hoppers stomping around the place. Can I turn these on? Sweet. Let me turn off my light. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, that that makes it real dark. Does this light not work? What's that? Here's some of our usual customers. You might want to memorize this. Church, 46 Silver Lake, Foot Boulevard, Photo Lab, 5 Walnut Avenue, Roberts Estate. Cool. Got to keep that. Was that written down? So, wait, did that go anywhere? No. Bust out the camera then. Oh, what the fu How do you expect me to see that? Also, how do you expect me to remember that? Okay. Huh. Okay, whatever. Uh, squeaky door. Oh, it's the bathroom. And a foggy mirror. Nothing. Of course. Okay, upstairs we go. I'm expecting this to turn into, like, something, some supernatural shit. Uh, it just, I'm expecting all the lights to shut off. For no reason. Well, there's a reason. It's because it's, it's, it's of ghosts. Booga booga. Oh, tits. Right, which one is this? 204? 204. God, I hate that creep. I, with as far as their sound design is concerned, well, one, I enjoy the music. I wish it was a little quieter, and would just remain consistent, you know, throughout. Or they can make it pop up whenever you walk through certain doors or get to certain areas, just to make it a little bit more impactful. I mean, it's still technically aimless, but oh, it's the Bible. Wait, I pick it up. Pick it up. Give me the Bible. It's the Holy Bible. Anywho, um. Yeah, yeah, so with the music, I wish. Yeah, I do like the music. It does set the tone rather well. A little on the nose, but uh, you kind of want that sometimes. Um. As far as stuff like that, like that, that annoying shit, or the sound from, you know, whenever you, you pick up keys, the ching, 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 they're very annoying and grating sounds, and they just, they sound fake. Um, I know the quality in my, in my video intro isn't exactly, you know, the most professional thing, but, at the very, oh, some glasses. Cool. John Lennon died here. Is that it? Just glasses? Anything over here? Under the bed on this side? No. But yeah, I, I, I wish they would change those sounds. And it's very clear that so just listen just listen to it a few times just open again well i can just do it on some. it's very clear that they only recorded like two different versions of that yeah it they only have the two different sounds and if they recorded just like a couple dozen or so, which isn't difficult to do. And just find a squeaky door and get a sound. Um, although having the the proper equipment and setting to get a good well, no, because you wouldn't really have to worry so much about echo as far as or reverberation or anything like that as far as 
the, so you'd have to worry about as far as like getting like a, like some foley uh foley sounds for like the doors for instance um all you'd ha all you'd really have to worry about is background noise but like echo and reverberation and everything like that you wouldn't really have to worry about that much at all at least in my opinion because i mean we're staying i mean right now in the in game i'm in a building i'm in, i'm yeah you know, i'm in a place where i'd expect to hear some degree of echo this hat must have been left by the last guest. I guess it had a boring taste in hats. Although, it does look very, like, it, the texture looks like really velvety. You know, I like, like the texture of like, like a rose, like petal. Um, speaking, of ro speaking of roses, I have had another Bible, very, very uh, zealous town. Oh, zealous isn't the right word. Um, um, fuck, what's the word I'm looking for? Devout. Very devout town. Can I take a bath? Or a shower? That is a rusty shower head. No, thank you. No, thank you. Get tetanus all over me. Oh. See, right there the music coming in when I look down at that note. That that adds some, some some gravity to the situation. Uh dear Stephen M, thank you for your rent payment. I stated in your rental agreement, however, when rent payments are not received by 0404. So April fourth. I'm bad with months months, so I have to count like every time. September, December, and January are like the few I can remember off the top of my head. And February, I guess. And November. October is pretty obvious. Okay, so just some of them. The middle one, the middle months are the ones that fuck me up. Uh, you must pay additional rent because of the late charge to, or because you did not qualify for the rent discount. Require additional amounts, not pay more. Do 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 do. Eighty five bucks. For rent. Damn. This is, this is good rent. At once to bring your credit balance up to date. Must be paid in seven days. Ro 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 Rosalie? Rosalie P. So Stephen M. Is, they didn't know when he checked out. So... Or at least they just didn't have it like on record and nothing on file. I don't know if there's anything else to find here. Uh, I'm just gonna walk outside and probably call this an episode. Yeah, that. So. I, I plan on continuing all the way to the end, uh, unless it just drags on. I do plan on making multiple episodes of this. Uh, if you like the, I think for this type of game, it makes sense for it to be a longer video, just because there's just a lot of walking around, a lot of dead space, a lot, a lot of dead air. And uh, I can unpause it, nothing's gonna happen. Um, and be because it's just a much more, well, at least intended to be a much more atmospheric, slow game, it just makes much more sense for the, for it to be just longer so you can just get more out of it, I think. And also, it just makes it easier for me because then I can actually just, just get into it and actually kind of enjoy myself. And thus far, it, it's been all right. Uh, certain sound issues here and there, you know, what with the... The noise, the noises being very like can very canned, they're just sounding very, uh, just very fake, and not having any variety in the sounds. And I understand like for like making like for like an indie developer, uh, it can be very difficult to get 
all those sounds, especially for something this huge. So I'm not trying to like say like a shame on you for not getting a variety of sounds, but it, it's just, that's uh, just my critique. Uh, that's far, I do like it. I like the environments. They don't look as good as they possibly can. Although that might just be a fault of my, uh, of my computer. I'll see if I can, if I can increase the quality or resolution or anything like that. See if that makes it look a little better. I do like the music a lot. Uh, and I do, and I do intend on continuing to play it all the way through to the end. Uh, it's very highly rated on Steam, so there's that. I'll put, if you want to play the game for yourself, I'll put the link to the Steam page and to the developer's website if I can find it. Uh, I try to, try to do that for every game that I play. You know, try to put your know, link to the, the Steam page and to the developer's website. Just so you know, anyone who watches this video who wants to play it knows where to go. They just have to scroll down and click. Boom, there you go. So that does it for this video. I hope you had a good time. If you liked it, you know, then just leave a like on the video. Give it a, give it a good old thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. I uh, just uh, hope you have a good day and take care of each other. All right. I'll see you next time.